Welcome to Algebra 1. The learning goal for this episode is to learn how to write an equation for a line when given one point and the slope. First, some necessary vocabulary. Sometimes we're given information about an equation that includes just one point and the slope of the line, and then asked to find the equation. There are lots of ways we could use this information to come up with the equation, but it would be nice to have a formula that we could turn to right away. We can develop that formula by starting with our formula for slope. If we multiply both sides of this formula by the quantity x2 minus x1, then we get m times the quantity x2 minus x1 equals y2 minus y1. Since we will be working with just the slope and one point, we'll call that point x1, y1. And since we typically write y on the left side of the equation, we'll rewrite that last equation as y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. This is called the point slope form of a linear equation. Let's look at some examples. We want to write an equation for a line that passes through the point negative 2, 5 and has a slope of negative 3. First, let's write down the point slope form of a linear equation. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. Now we'll fill in 5 for y1, negative 2 for x1, and negative 3 for m, our slope. We then simplify this slightly by simplifying x minus negative 2 into x plus 2. Note that while we could simplify this equation further by using the distributive property, we want to leave it like this if it asks for it in point slope form. This form allows us to easily read off one point and the slope of this equation. Let's try another example. In this case, we're given the equation in point slope form and asked to graph it. From our formula, we can tell that the slope of our line will be 1 half, and a point on the graph will be negative 2 comma 3. Some students have difficulty remembering how to figure out that point quickly. One way that works for many students is to think about what value of x would make that parentheses equal to 0, and what value of y would make the left side of the equation equal to 0. If you think that through, it's pretty easy to come up with the point negative 2 comma 3 for this equation. Now that we have a point and the slope, we can graph the equation. First we plot the point, negative 2 comma 3. Then we use our slope of 1 half to go up 1 and over 2 to get a second point. We then connect the points with a straight line, add arrows to the end, and we've now graphed our line. Let's look at another example. This time they give us the graph of the line and ask us to write an equation in point slope form. First, we want to pick an easy point to work with, perhaps negative 1, comma 3. Then we pick another easy point to help us figure out our rise over run, our slope. I picked 1, comma 0. Then I recall my formula for the point slope form. So now I substitute in my slope, negative 3 halves, for m, then substitute in 3 for y1, and negative 1 for x1. Note that I could have chosen to work with the other point, 1, 0, and written the equation in this form. This would also be correct, and there are infinitely many different equations I could write for this line, simply using the same slope but different points that the line goes through. Now for our guided practice section. We're going to work through some problems together. You do not need to write down these problems, just step through them with me. At each step, I'm going to prompt you with the question you should be asking yourself, then I'll pause for about five seconds for you to think about it and answer it for yourself. Then I'll show you. So for this problem, our first question is, what are we trying to do here? What we're trying to do is write an equation for this line given one point and the slope. Next question is, how do we do that? First, we recall the point-slope form of a linear equation y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. Now what? Now we simply substitute in our slope 2 thirds for m, negative 6 for y1, and 4 for x1. Are we finished? Not quite. We can simplify a little bit to make it y plus 6 on the left side. Now we're done because the equation is in point slope form. Let's try another example. What are we trying to do here? We're trying to graph this line given its equation in point slope form. 
So what do we do first? From our equation, we can see that a point on the line is 1, negative 2, and our slope is negative 1 third. Remember, the point will be whatever makes x minus x1 equal to 0, and y minus y1 equal to 0. What's the next step? Now we can graph our equation. First, we plot the point 1, comma, negative 2. Then we use our slope, negative 1 third, to go down 1, since it's negative, and over 3 to find another point, connect our two points, and we have our line. Are we finished? Yes, the question asks us to graph the line, and we have. Let's try one more example. What are we trying to do here? We're trying to write an equation of this line given the graph of the line. So what do we do first? We pick a couple of points that are on the line that are easy to work with so we can figure out our slope. So what's the next step? We figure out our slope. In this case, it's 1 fifth. Now what? Now we can use our slope in either point and substitute into our point slope form. What's next? We can simplify slightly to change subtracting a negative into adding. And now we have our solution. Note that you only need one of these equations. I showed you both so that if you picked a different point than I did, you could still see that it works. And you may have picked even a different point than one of these two. Remember, there are infinitely many ways to write the equation for this line. You only need to find one of them. Now for the self-check section. In this section, you're going to physically pause the video as you work out the problem on paper in your notebook. Then you'll press play to check to see how you did. You'll have five seconds to pause the video after I stop speaking before I show you the solution. Please pause the video now and work out the problem, then press play to check. Here is the solution. Please compare this to your work. Pause the video here if you need more time to compare, then press play again to move to the next problem. Same thing on this problem. Pause the video, write down this problem and work it out in your notebook, then press play to check. Please pause the video now. Here's the solution. Again, pause the video if you need more time to compare this to your own work. Let's do one more. Pause the video, write down this problem, work it out in your notebook, then press play to check. Please pause the video now. Here's the solution. Again, pause the video if you need more time to compare with your work. In closing, let's review our learning goal. We wanted to learn how to write an equation for a line when given one point and the slope. We did that by coming up with a formula called the point-slope form of a linear equation. Once we had that, we could find equations when given one point and the slope, or when given a graph. We could also easily graph an equation that was given to us in point-slope form.